Let's kick this off. So welcome to the community call for May. And today's agenda, we have a jam-packed one for you today. Um, as always, we've got our welcome intro, updates on all of the games that are kicking off in good, uh, good ghosting. And then we're going to bring Francis on, who is our CTO. I know a lot of you will be familiar with Francis from um, Discord and on GitHub. Um, he's going to give a little bit of a deep dive into some of the technical things that we're building. And there is a little bit of alpha coming out with that. So keep your eyes on that as well. Um, we're also very, very uh, happy to have Aish Wari from uh, Polygon here to talk not only about liquidity mining, but also if you've got anything to add on all of the exciting updates that are happening in Polygon, because I know there's a lot, I'm very keen to hear about that. Um, and we should have a speaker from Noxdao, um, which is a super exciting learn to earn platform on Celo. And then we've got the details of our latest saving pool that's going to launch. Uh, so you'll be the first to know about that. And then if you've got any questions, uh, save it for the end um, and we can do a quick Q&A uh, session and just get uh, updates from both Good Ghosting and the wider ecosystem there as well. Awesome. Okay. So... I know we have a, oh, yes, yeah, so thanks for joining today. I know we have a lot of familiar faces on the call, but just in case there's anyone who's completely new and they're not sure how good ghosting works and how good uh, ghosting pools function, always good to have a refresher. Uh, so basically good ghostings are saving pools. Uh, you join the pool with the goal to make regular deposits. So maybe you wanna save, uh, for example, uh, 10 die per week or 50 die per month. Um, during that time, you're making deposits, um, our smart contracts, move that over to somewhere where it's going to generate some extra interest and yield. Francis is going to give us a little bit more insight into that as well. But, you know, at the moment we are on um, Aave, on Polygon and also Moolah on Celo. Um, so the pool's earning extra interest and yield. Then at the end, the good ghosting magic kicks in essentially. So what we want to see in good ghosting is people making hitting their uh, financial goals, making those regular deposits, helping to better themselves financially. And if you are able to hit all of those deposits, you're going to get a number of rewards. So first of all, our gamified interest strategy. So we only split the interest amongst uh, the good savers. If you miss one, you still get your principal back, but you forgo the interest. So that's a little bit of a nudge for you to save. You also get um, any incentives, and we, you know, we're very grateful to have some excellent incentives from from Polygon and also from Celo and projects that we partner with as well. And then we also you can get the chance to get NFTs, and of course our good ghosting uh, GG score, which is our kind of XP in-house uh, score that we have as well. So that's good ghosting uh, in a nutshell, as we are now, um, and basically we're just helping people kind of better themselves financially and, and hit their goals as well. So it's been a busy, it's been a busy month. We've got like lots going on. Uh, there's a number of pools uh, that you, if you're in them, set those calendar reminders. You can go to our UI and you can put add a Google calendar link to, to remind yourself to keep up to date. But there's deposits going for the second wave pool, SOS, the Fly Wallet pool. That's an interesting one because there was actually partnering with Fly Wallet. We have a an actual flight to give away as part of that, which will be awesome. Uh, ETH Amsterdam, which we kicked off a couple of weeks ago, and then we've got two solo pools, which was ten solo versus twenty five CUSD, the kind of volatile versus stable token pools. But as I know, quite a few of you have been messaging on Discord already today, our spring stable, pool, spring stable pool has concluded. So if you were a good saver in that, go to the pool, you can withdraw the, the winning straight from the UI. And we will be sending out the NFT for that and also updating the GG scores within the next 24, 24 hours. I know a couple of you noticed that it's not quite there yet. Um, I will be doing that first thing tomorrow after I jump off this call and, and everything. So keep an eye on that. Um, but you'll get some nice, nice rewards for, for winning that pool. So um, updates. So we have been uh, growing as always. Um, so here we can see um, we have over 2.5 uh, 
five. I think it's even more than this. This is um, this is from May the 5th, so that's actually five days ago. Um, but we've helped our community uh, save a considerable amount more. Um, and also, as well as getting our metrics up, helping people build up their portfolio, helping people better themselves, we are now actually on DeFi Llama, so you can go there and, and ch check how much is like in our contracts at this moment, um, as as well as checking good ghosting on DAP Radar. So we're both on DeFi Llama and DAP Radar. Been really awesome to see this month. Um, in in Cello, we've reached the number one app for daily users like, quite a few times, so that has been fantastic to see and get that get that a shout out with the sort of community on, on Twitter and also been performing really well in Polygon as well. So you can go over to both DeFi Llama and DAP Radar to get the latest stats on, on good ghosting. Also uh, this uh, month, some exciting stuff has been kicked off. So yeah, we launched um, a Twitter space series. It's called to, I Was Today's Years Old. Um, where basically the idea is that we want to create a very open and friendly place where you can go and ask any questions. It's particularly great for people who've just got into crypto or you want to kind of want to ask a question and don't know if it's silly or not. Um, definitely recommend it to if you have friends or family who are wanting to get into this. We want to make it very approachable and accessible. I had a brilliant uh, session with that. And we had um, speakers from Flywallet also from SheFi, so that was awesome. And I can also give you a little bit of alpha, the date's not 100% uh, confirmed, but we are gonna be touching, the next one we'll be touching on the topic of refi, which I think is very timely. And we've got some excellent speakers like lined up. So potentially we've also got Renee, the founder of Cello jumping in and telling us everything that they're doing um, with uh, refi over in, in Cello. So regenerative finance, making things uh, more environmentally conscious and using like, the power of DeFi to kind of help heal the earth, which is awesome. Uh, so check that out. If you don't already follow us on Twitter, please do, because there's lots of uh, updates and, and stuff on there. As I mentioned, we've been getting the number one uh, DAP on Solo in terms of uses. We've also hit the top 20 on Polygon. So this is like awesome news. It's brilliant to see so many people using good ghosting. So big thank you to everyone on this call and everyone who's also, um, everyone who's also in our pools as well. And then, We've actually, so those of you who've been with us for a while know we have this concept of community superheroes. So our community superheroes are, you know, really our kind of cornerstone of everything that we do here. There's uh, informative uh, videos, all sorts of exciting things. Um, just keeping the good ghosting a community super friendly and, um, super friendly and uh, a great place to hang out, which is what we wanted to do. Um, so we have our community heroes um, and we've decided that, you know, we want to grow the community heroes and we want to recognize all the great work that new community members have been doing. But we decided, okay, let's try and do this in a bit of a DAO light version and let's get our community to nominate the good quality community heroes that they're seeing coming through. Um, so with that, um, we're very thankful to our community for nominating and passing two new heroes, which are fantastic. So I think that will be on the next slide. Drum roll, please. I can do the grand reveal. So we have Ginger Ale and Niddy. So congratulations to, to both of these community members. I will be adding you to the secret community channel, um, Community Heroes channel. It's a great channel to be in. There's lots of alpha cool conversations going on there. I'll add you to that. And we will also be sending out an NFT to you as well. So you get the iconic good ghosting halo ghost uh, with a very kind of sought after metallic uh, hero cape. So yeah, just uh, quickly before we go on, just a round of, round of applause to Ginger L and Niddy. And uh, with this, I'm actually going to pass over to uh, Francis. Um, he's going to give us an update on everything technically and uh, talk a little bit about some of the development updates that are coming out. Hey, hey guys. Uh, Francis here. Uh, I serve as the, the CTO of Good Goals. So very nice to, to be talking to all of you today. So 
Good goal scene is certainly growing uh, the tech team. We recently hired uh, two new developers, a, uh, a senior full stack developer and also like, you know, uh, a front end developer. Both are helping us to, you know, grow uh, the good goal scene, uh, maintain what we already have and also like, you know, uh, help us in, you know, develop uh, new features, new products and new, uh, you know, new everything that we want to build for you guys, including like, you know, bug fixes, etc. So uh, we are very, very excited to be able to, you know, grow our, uh, our tech team, because this means that we can ship things, you know, faster for you, or, you know, we can ship more uh, for the community. So that's very cool. Uh, and one of the things that we are very, very close to ship to you guys, Rachel, if you could go like to the next uh, slide, please is just a new integration that we, we want to bring to the community. As Rachel uh, mentioned earlier, uh, Good Ghosting uses, uh, you know, some other uh, great Web3 protocols, uh, you know, and uh, DeFi protocols to help generate yield for our community. Currently on Polygon, we are using Aave and on Celo, we are using Mula. And one new integration that we are bringing very, very soon is gonna be a curve integration on Polygon. So soon we're gonna have a pools using a curve as the underlying yield generating strategy. And we're gonna be supporting two, uh, two pools of curve. One is the Aave pool on curve which pretty much uses uh, Aave tokens, the stable tokens, uh, you know, uh, for the deposits. And the other pool that we're gonna support on Curve is the Atri uh, crypto pool, uh, which has exposure to uh, stable coins, uh, USDC, USDT and DAI, but also has exposure to uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum using wrapped Ethereum, wrapped Bitcoin. So this is also going to be, you know, another uh, type of your generating strategy that we're going to have available for our users. And soon we're going to be launching some games using those uh, new strategies. And uh, this is only the beginning because under the hoods, we are working on bringing uh, even more, uh, you know, you generating strategies to our community. So we have like, you know, a bunch of uh, different options uh, available uh, for the users they can choose from based on, you know, everyone's risk profile, everyone, you know, uh, uh, disposition on trying new things. So we're not yet, like, you know, we're still working on some of the new strategies that we want to integrate, but I would say that in the next few months, uh, we, you guys will also be hearing from us about other uh, strategies other than Curve and other than Avi and Mula. And we wanna bring more strategies both on Polygon and also on, uh, on Celo. So we wanna grow the set of strategies available for the users on both networks. In addition to the Curve integration, which is like a major uh, integration that we are building, uh, there's obviously some other things that we are doing under the hoods. Uh, there's always bug fixes, small improvements. We, lo we love to hear uh, users' feedback, suggestions, and, you know, uh, bugs that you guys found. So if you see something, uh, please, you know, just report for us on our tech support channel or on the general channel uh, in our Discord server, because we really like to gather this feedback from you so we can uh, improve the platform and make them more, you know, suitable for all of us in, in our community. So yes, if you guys have any suggestions or e even, you know, uh, bug reports, please uh, come to us and report them to us. Uh, so we, we are working on, you know, these bug fixes, this is more improvements. We have been working a lot on uh, performance improvements on our uh, backend side and also in the front end. We just deployed recently a uh, event section for our front end. So you guys can, uh, if you go to our homepage, scroll down, you can see upcoming events, for example, like this community call and also new pools, they're now being listed there. It's a good way to keep, uh, keep an eye on things that are coming uh, to good ghosting quite soon. And we are also working in some other things, you know, that is still a little bit too early to, to talk about, but there's a lot of, uh, some some interesting things that we want to launch for you uh, and bring to you, you know, bring to life for you guys in the next uh, upcoming months.
and I'll pass over to Rachel. Awesome. Thank you for that, uh, Francis. Like, yeah, there's been a lot of development going on the smart contract side of things. Um, Super excited for the curve integration, uh, which will be coming shortly, passing audit and everything. Um, But yeah, it's going to be exciting. If you are a developer, you can always snoop on our GitHub and see what's being done. But um, also just keep following here and we'll, we'll update you with the changes beyond just the curve integration coming as well. So yeah, it's really going to open up a whole new world of different different strategies that we can integrate. Cool. So this is my report. So everything that kind of been going on from um, from my side of the the company. So let's kick this off. I was over in East Amsterdam, which is an awesome uh, week of events um, at the end of um, April. Um, really, really honored to be speaking at the Dev Connect today, a session on gamification and user experience. Super exciting, uh, talking about how we can use gamification to kind of leverage uh, better habits. That was awesome. Was on a panel with her DAO and in Code Club, so that was really great. Also hung out at the hackathon, uh, met lots of people and was a very energizing week um, of yeah meeting builders and seeing what's going on. Of course, we launched the ETH Amsterdam pool to coincide with that. Um, And then I'm also just going to talk about this. So this is something quite fun that we've launched uh, just in the last like couple of days. So we have this uh, saving showdown, we're calling it. So basically, the idea is we want to put two different um, currencies, two different tokens head to head and uh, get a bit of a friendly competition going. So we asked we actually asked our community heroes, which is another great thing why you want to be in that uh, special kind of closed Discord group there. We asked them, which uh, currencies would you like to kind of compete against? And the answer was ETH versus Matic. Um, so we launched this on Friday. And basically, um, we've got, there's a baseline of uh, incentives that we will give to both pools. So I think they will both get $2,000 worth of um, Matic at the time we joined, deployed the pool, which I believe was 2,100. Um, so th- they both get incentivized to that level. But we've also got these three other categories, which is the biggest, so the pool with the most amount of participants in it, the best, uh, so the one that has the highest percentage of savers. So we have to wait to right to the end of the pool to figure that one out but also the fastest. So the fastest was the first one to fill up to 1,500 participants. Um, very pleased to say, uh, Aishwari, you'll be here, pleased to hear this as well. The Polygon Matic community really showed up here and uh, filled that up in a couple of, in a few days. Uh, so we hit that yesterday or this morning. Um, Matic won that. So one for Matic, everyone give a big whoop for Matic but we still got the biggest and best to see. So maybe ETH will be better savers. We just don't know. Um, but yeah, we thought this would be a fun experiment to uh, to play around with and there'll be more, more games and tournaments coming. So keep your eye on this. And with this, I'm going to segue uh, quite nicely into Aishwari uh, from Polygon. Um, I will pass over to you um, to tell us a little bit about uh, the liquidity mining that's happening on Polygon this is a fantastic initiative which has been kicking off in the last few weeks. Okay, I just admit him to the room. Yeah, let's Hi. go. You good? Hello. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Would you like me to make you host? Do you have uh, slides that you'd like to share? Uh, I can I can go ahead and uh, share it this way itself. No need for the slides, I'd say. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'll pass over to you to fill us in then. Awesome. Awesome. So I think uh, liquidity mining has been something that has been ongoing from, a lot, from almost one month. This is the second month. Uh, the Reason why, so I think when we started liquidity mining, the first thing or what liquidity mining was, was something that was defined by Polygon when we first introduced it with Aave. We committed 1% of the total supply to be given to Aave to go ahead and provide liquidity mining last year. I think in the month of April and May, just one year behind. 
and that is where we we went ahead and started this liquidity mining protocols and programs around uh seeing its success i think a lot of protocols and other chains tried to copy it and uh, one thing that we learned when we tried to go ahead and did liquidity mining we wanted to go out and make it more decentralized and we wanted to ensure that everyone who is committing or who is going ahead and doing work or is working hard to get uh get good projects on polygon and everything so that way what we wanted was we wanted to dem uh, democratize and say that hey this is something where we do not want the foundation to take the decisions as to who exactly would actually go ahead and do the work or who exactly is going to go ahead and like, get the liquidity mining but instead of that what we said let there we we decided to have like two parameters the first parameter was basically uh the weekly average users and uh, the second parameter was total value lock which is a tvl that we already know so uh, with that what we did was we started uh, with like lm 2.0 uh, we started uh, we had 28 dapps which is, uh, which were there in the first instance and 28 dapps qualified for the first month and uh, i think the second month just started like for last week and with the second month starting we had seven more dapps coming in which means that it was a good success model for us where more to, uh, more projects chose to build on polygon just because of the rewards that they were able to get and also some of the projects which were multi chain they tried to migrate their users from other chains to polygon they were again making it even a successful model more so yeah that was something which we which we saw and uh, what what also this entails or what also this adds is basically whenever we are going ahead and whenever we are talking about uh, liquidity mining we want a constant effort to be made by the teams and that's why this program is not something like it it lasts it's logs for 6 months and every month we go ahead and check these parameters on a daily basis and on the uh, on base basis that we ensure that new protocols get added for the good work that they have done and that that is something that that makes this program completely different now another thing like uh, which we also thought about is like what exactly happens to anon teams because a lot of teams in on the defi platforms are anon so usually it's very difficult to go ahead and give liquidity mining to anon teams because of the kyc rules and regulations which are there so this way we were able to go ahead and even capture those teams which were there and that is also something which ensures that if anyone has a publicly verifiable multi sig that we can look at you are eligible for that reward if you if you are there with those tiers that we have defined now what are the tiers that we defined so there were two tiers uh, there are two uh, thing the four tiers defined so for tvl we had if you if you have a tvl of more than 100 million you get somewhere around 1 million uh, in uh, dollars worth of matic spread across 6 months if you have a tvl between 100 to uh, 50 then you get somewhere around 500k if you have a tvl between 50 million to 15 million then you have 250k if you have 15 million to 5 million you get 100k but good thing is that that because the number of projects for the first month were lesser the rewards were even more so they were not limited to the rewards that were here so that is a good thing that happened for the first month even the second month the rewards are more than that uh, the rewards that are just stated and even for the weekly average users there were four tiers the first tier was more than 5000 weekly average users 1 million more, more than uh, between 3000 to 5000 weekly average users that's 500k uh, 2000 to 3000 uh, weekly average users that's uh, again something which is like 250k and uh, for uh, more than 1000 to 2000 users you have 100k dollars worth of matic that was available to you and uh, this is this is how we basically went ahead and every month like i tell, told the emissions once fixed will remain the same for a period of one month and every month like what will happen is we'll take the screenshots we will ensure that the succeeding month only those dapps are eligible for uh, this liquidity mining rewards who are ensuring to be within these tiers so that is how i think uh, we were able to go ahead and ensure that a lot of dapps were able to build it and one more thing that we added or you can say one another benefit that we gave out in this liquidity mining was earlier we were defining what exactly the dapps could do with the liquidity mining but this time we went ahead and said it's up to the dapps so if the dapps want to go ahead and give it to the users they are completely free if they want to develop the protocol more with that money yeah that's that's something which you want to do that go ahead and do it it's it's basically open for the dapp to decide and that is how i think which is where we want to give the give the freedom to every dapp 
who is working so hard to actually go ahead and be on polygon with the, with good numbers to be able to get all the benefits that we can provide so yeah i think that is something that is there on the liquidity mining side amazing thank you for thank you for that overview um and like we are super grateful uh, for the support for the good ghosting community i know our, our community is also very grateful for it um and it's brilliant to just see you supporting builders um helping kind of grow the ecosystem and getting more people on board so that's that's amazing stuff uh put you on the spot here can you tell us anything about like the announcement yesterday about the meta into meta partnership okay. i'm guessing probably not but i thought i'd just since you're here it would be brilliant it's it's a missed opportunity not to ask you absolutely i think meta is something where what we're trying to work with meta is uh, like meta has one of the biggest social platforms so using those platforms so imagine you you today what what is happening is a lot of new dapps are coming in and saying that uh, you can display your uh, nfts you can display your uh, badges and everything on the new platform which means now you have to work hard again to get those followers and everyone into a new dapp or new platform on the or the social media that is there with this what we are trying to focus on is people who have already have a good community and everything to go ahead and ensure that they can use their existing community to probably go ahead and show their nfts that they have like probably later on what we will also try to do and this is something like we are not committing on probably you can like it acts like a marketplace where everyone can actually go ahead and buy and sell those nfts so imagine if you open instagram and you see that uh, oh wow this this is a friend uh, who has uh, who has done a good amount good work of art first of all you can uh, very easily go ahead and endorse him or her and then also you can literally buy that in front of everyone and all of your friends just boosting their confidence and everything so i think that is something that is there we have a lot of things in pipeline as and we will we will definitely let the community know on those things Well, that's amazing and congratulations i think it can be a huge uh, milestone in terms of like adoption like going where there are users and people are there and also just congratulations even to kind of build this partnership i know takes a lot of um a lot of work um so this is i think fantastic for polygon but also like amazing for the industry just generally so like awesome stuff any anything else that you kind of any other alpha from the polygon ecosystem that you want to share with us or like is that it for now No, no. I think uh, we're just getting started again. I'll say so. I think uh, POS chain was something which was like we we launched two weeks back. Supernets, which were dedicated chains for protocols, if they want to have their own chains. Two weeks from now, there's another pro. There's another announcement going for another product that has been live. I won't be taking the name right now, but probably out of the seven solutions that we are totally building, two are live. Third one is going live in two weeks. So that's something where where we are going ahead and ensuring that okay. uh all the solutions that we have uh go ahead and uh, cater to a particular set of pro uh, problems that or a particular set of demands that a lot of people or teams have done so this is something where what we are trying to do is anything and everything that you require uh, being uh, if you want to run your own chain if you want your own privacy chains if you want your own zk chains anything that you want we want to go out and give that so within two weeks we have another chain going out so that is something uh, as an alpha that i can go ahead and leave with the community Amazing stuff! Amazing stuff. We could have a whole call just on updates that's going on in Polygon. Probably not even cover the whole a uh, topic. But yeah, thank you for uh, joining. It's been fantastic. And again, of course, a big thank you for the support with liquidity mining. It's a it's amazing incentive for the developers and for the community as well. Got it. Got it. Awesome. Um, so I'm actually going to pass over to our next speaker, which is. Cyril um who is from Knoxdale uh Cyril are you able to unmute Yes Awesome I have some slides for you here which I think Kyle pulled together uh happy for you to like just leave it on this one or let me know if you want me to kind of uh hit the next slide because I think there's some more here as well so but with that I'll pass you over um and to share with our community a little bit about what you're building at Knoxdow and and the benefit for the good ghosting community as well. Oh, okay. Awesome. Are you would you like me to unshare so you can share your screen? Um I am fine with that. 
Go, go, go. So yeah, if you wanna if you wanna let us know what is Nox DAO, um, I know Nox DAO is like learn to earn DAO, um, but um, giving us a little bit more detail in terms of all of the exciting stuff that you are building. Okay, so it's basically a learn to earn community where we uh, host contests for the members in it to be able to uh, earn money while typing up articles and other crypto related on other crypto related products projects and investments um we have a reserve that we're trying to build and keep up to a uh, peg for kusd we try to partner with other uh projects like you guys to help uh teach our community how to invest their money and grow it um there we go yeah it's it's still being worked on right now and made but it's pretty cool And you're building on Cello, so it's a Cello uh, project. Um, I'm curious yeah, to yeah. ask you just sort of what drew you to Cello and uh, what makes the Cello ecosystem like a great place for you to be building on? Oh, sorry, what was the first part? Uh, what makes Cello like a great ecosystem to be building on? Well, the gas fees alone and how fast the transactions are. Yep, 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 that's awesome. And with like Knoxdown right now, like. Are users able to um, start posting their own content and start um, completing like learn to earn challenges? Are they already uh, already are any of them already live yet? You mentioned that it's still in development. Um, what yeah, can so our users had, do today? We, well, we've already had like eight learn to earn contests currently, and we're working on number nine. So essentially, we get the community members to try to find uh, what we want to work on next and we set up proposals and vote on it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, we, we've already got that live and it, it working in the process. Amazing, amazing. And you have these quite fantastic NFTs um, with like, I really love the artwork. Um, they look awesome. What powers do the NFTs? What does a Noxa NFT unlock? Uh, it provides passive income paid by KUSD per week. Uh, well, it's acquired per by the minute, but ideally you collect a certain amount per week. Um, they give you a role in the Discord where you can enter and do different things, whether it's the voting or setting up proposals. Um, they're essentially, we're still working on the structure to smooth it all out and make it a true DAO um, where everything works as it, it, as it should. Um, but the holding the NFTs is basically your ticket into it. So you want to get hold of one of these NFTs is what you're saying. Get them now yeah, and it's going to unlock the kind of Knox style uh, universe, metaverse. Um, yeah, then grows. people can join in and they'll, they can actively contribute and be paid, uh, uh, be rewarded for some of the things they do. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, big fan of this kind of learn to earn um initiative like because a good ghosting we're all about making things accessible and helping onboard people into this ecosystem and i think the learning component to it is so vital to that so anything that can help people kind of go down the rabbit hole a bit more make that journey down the rabbit hole a bit more enjoyable a little bit less painful and help them earn some money whilst they're doing it i think it's fantastic oh yes i'm a big fan of a uh, good ghosting and the whole save to earn Save to earn, learn to earn. You've got your savings. It's a it's a very wholesome way to do kind of DeFi, which is what I like. Helping people kind of incentivizing uh, things that are going to ultimately be beneficial to 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 our community as well. Yes. Fantastic. Well, I actually have some information because um, ah, so I think this is like. Bear with me one second. Um, so I think this is pretty much covering um, the bullet points that you've already uh, spoken to. So there will be um, a KUSD, um, there'll be a DAO, um, there's going to be um, like a, a streaming for holding this NFT. There's different categories of Super Megan and Lyd Lydian. Are those the categories of NFTs that you can get within the... Yes, yeah, so the, between the common Supers, Megas and Lindens there, uh, they, you got 
It's a collection of 880 NFTs on the cello chain right now. We're looking at creating a, another NFT collection of Knox gear um, that will create characters used in, uh, instead of learn to earn, it will be used in uh, uh, game competitions in one way or another that we're not exactly sure on all the details. So I don't want to misinform anybody, but there, there's a whole uh, process that we're working on. The commons are just that. They're, they're common NFTs that we have like 700 and something of that pay two U, uh, K US dollars per week by holding. The supers pay you uh, five US do- K US dollars. Megas are 10. And the final one's 20 US dollars, but there's only 10 of those. And they provide you a, a completely different position in the DAO. So those Lydians are going to be pretty rare. Um, get hold of them if you can. <laughs> extremely rare essentially the people that we expect to get a hold of them are probably going to be some of the biggest contributors ones that are trying to help grow the community to the best of its ability Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that is the absolute peak if you can get hold of like a super a mega or even a commons like you're doing pretty well in this because there's not there's not a huge amount of uh, these nfts available only 888 in total yes awesome awesome nice to see a little bit of Rarity, a little bit of exclusivity there. It makes it a little easier to manage it to some point. Definitely, definitely. Um, And with that, like, I think it's actually quite a nice segue into the Good Ghosting Knock Style pool that we are going to be launching. We are super excited about this. Um, Not only because they have really cool NFT artwork, um, but also just, you know, very mission aligned around uh, helping people kind of learn and people better themselves. Um, but we have this pool and it is due to go live on on Thursday. So jump back into our Discord, jump back onto our website. We will be deploying the pool then. Um, and it's going to be a great opportunity to, uh, one, save. So you're going to be saving five CUSD uh, per week. So quite a nice, accessible uh, price point into that. Um, it's going to be running for six deposits. So hitting all of those six deposits in there. Of course, if you are a good saver, as always, you are going to get the interest. You're going to get the good ghosting NFT. You're going to get the GG score XP points. Um, and we will also be um, adding some uh, cello incentives there as well. But here, you get also the chance to be in a raffle for 10 common and one rare knocks out NFTs. So This is your chance to get involved um, and get one of these kind of rarer ones. And to be honest, they're called common, but even the common NFTs are not that common because there's only 888 of them. Um, So this is going to be a really cool pool to to kick off. And I would just let everyone know, like, be on time for this pool because we're actually capping it to 888 uh, participants in the pool. So spots are going to be limited. Um, so I know we just had a cello pool uh, conclude today that had, I think, over 3,000 people in it. So it's going to be a little bit harder to get this. It's going to be a little bit more exclusive. So I wouldn't leave it to the last minute. Um, definitely show up on um, on Thursday to get in. I'm going to be publishing the blog post like later today with all of the details around that. So you've got that in hard copy to look at. Um, but super excited to be working with Noxdow. And thank you, Cereal, for giving us an overview and some of the exciting stuff that you're building. No problem. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And anything you want to add at the end? I think, I think you did a good job there. Sorry, we lost connection. I, uh, I believe we are all good. Cool. Fantastic. Okay. Apologies if my internet's cutting out. Um, but, uh, yeah, excited for this on Thursday. So we've just got a little bit. We're getting close to the end of the call now. Uh, Just these are summaries. Uh, So our tech team is dangerous. They are building a lot. We're getting, we're actually having to spend a lot on audits actually right now. We're getting so much code out there. We've got multiple audits in the, one has been concluded for the curve integration. We've got more audits coming. So watch out. There's a lot being um, built. Good ghosting is getting more gamified. So we've seen that with the, the savings showdown, um, competing against ETH versus Matic, different prizes, but it's just the beginning. We're going to bring more of that friendly competition, you know, competition to hit your goals. Um, 
We've got the Polygon liquidity mining, amazing initiative, and we're super glad to be part of that. Of course, Noxdow pioneering the learn to earn. And then we've got the Noxdow pool launching on Thursday. So be there. And just some updates from the ecosystem. So of course, like we have a lot of amazing partners, both on Celo and Polygon. Um, so this is a, a quick overview of everything that is worth taking note of. So we've got CyberDocs, Dowopolis, which is minting. Uh, Spacefly is doing active beta testing. C Expresso is minting. We've got a lot of mints going on, which is fantastic. Women of Celo is uh, minting as well as chinchillas and C celestials, and already 50% of those have gone. Uh, there's also over on Polygon an Avogotchi land raffle. Uh, Red Kite are doing a humanity campaign. Uh, go and check that out. I think that's doing some really amazing stuff uh, to help the kind of situation in Ukraine. Um, and then we've got Talent Protocol. It's expanding. I also saw that Talent Protocol are doing another talent house for um, ECC in Paris. So if you are somebody wanting to get into uh, into the space and you want to get to that conference, you want to get to Paris, check them out because I do, I do believe they're doing some quite generous sponsorship um, and accommodation uh, offers there as well. And with that, um, I'm just going to open up uh, to Q and A. So I can see, so there's a couple of com uh, comments come in. Um, but yeah, if anyone has any questions, either about good ghosting, um, we still got C Real on the call here, so I can loop him back in if you've got questions about Knox Dow. Um, but happy to answer that. Otherwise, if there are no questions, we can also wrap it up. Uh, buy back everyone like 15 minutes on the day, which is always a good present. Um, and just want to say thank you for thank you for joining us today. Be with us on Thursday. We've got this uh, knock style pool kicking off. And as I said, there's only going to be 888 participants. Ah, we've got a question coming in. Would you like, Miss Real, would you like to be put on, um, would you like to be made, would you like to be unmuted? Yes. Oh, you already unmuted, that's perfect. Um, ah, so this is Miss, Miss Surreal E, how much of my time will this cost? Uh, <laughs> is that related to, that's related to the learn to earn knocks out or is that directed to a uh, good ghosting I, I think that's directed more towards me from the user oh. uh yeah sorry no jump in feel free um well the the whole meeting is almost done so I'm, I'm assuming uh when they say how much of their time needs to be taken i'm not sure on that exact question cool cool, cool. yeah i mean in terms of like good ghosting the deposits are super quick um oh yeah you're always welcome to come to community call, but it, it, it depends like how long you want to stay. So it's free for you to come and go, um, but feel free to, to um, oh, in terms of both, how much of your time will cost? I think to make a good ghosting deposit, it only takes you around like, uh, well, if you already have the token set up, it's going to take you a couple of minutes to do that. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. Um, so it shouldn't take too long. Just set the reminders. That's my top tip. We do have a, a calendar link in Good Ghosting in our UI where you can add a Google Calendar reminder so that you don't forget to, to make those deposits because remembering is the tricky bit, right? Like we set the good intentions, but we don't always remember. So set those reminders. Uh, and in terms of like uh, with Noxdow, um, in terms of how much time it will cost, I think you won't, I don't think it's going to cost any of Noxdow's time, I believe unless you want to actually start to, when you start using those NFTs to participate in the Noxdal uh, ecosystem, I think there will be more of a time component there, I, I believe. Yes, I agree with that. When you start getting invested more into Nox, uh, you definitely want to spend more time to figure out where the investments go and how to manage them. But otherwise, I would say as for entering the GG pools, they literally only take me a minute to make a deposit onto it. So it's, okay, yeah, it's, it's very quick. So is participation time consuming in, in NOX? 
Like I'm guessing it's going to be a case of like, you get what I, you get out of it, what you put in, but this is not for me to say. I, I know that you're creating a very valuable platform in terms of um, interactions that people can have, um, but I'll pass over to Cereal in terms of like, as the platform gets more mature, do you, do you see that users are going to be spending a lot of time there creating these resources and, and completing these learned to earn challenges? Yes, I do. Yeah. Anybody who wants a system to grow properly would uh, ideally set aside the proper time to help it grow. Yeah, it's all about, um, you know, participation and uh, contributing, right? You know, DAOs, DAOs need us to do stuff. Um, so it's kind of makes complete sense. Cool. If are there any other questions, anything Knox style related, good ghosting? We've also got Francis still in the course, so I can also bring him up to answer any kind of CTO smart contract uh, questions that come up. But if not, I'd like to say massive thank you to Cereal for, for joining us. Also, thank you to Aishwari from Polygon. It's been brilliant to have an update as well. And likewise to Francis as well. And also a big thank you to everyone in our community for helping us hit some really impressive milestones in terms of daily uh, usage and uh, amount saved with good ghosting. So that's been fantastic to see. Um, and with that, I'll wrap it up and uh, see everyone on the next one, which will be in June now. Cool. Have a good evening. Thank you.